magic twanger, Froggy. <laughs> higher, kids, higher, higher. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I wish to lecture on the raising of honeybees. Just as I raised them at my country estate. At the North Pole. Yes, children, I have a lovely estate at the North Pole, and the bees just love the cold weather. Oh, no, no! <laughs> when I heard that the president was coming to the bar B, I made for the bunkhouse to get the best duds ready, and I put on... Hair ribbons. Hair ribbons, yeah, and I tied the bow so careful like on my braids. Put on your lipstick. Yeah. Put on my lipstick real careful like, so if I got to kiss it, I could pucker up real good. No, no, no. Come on, you little hermit. You breathed your last words. I was talking about your daughter, I was, I was. My daughter? I ain't got no daughter. You keep your mouth shut. The reason he selected me is because I'm... Such a big boob. You're right, lad. You're absolutely right. I'm the biggest boob on the whole farm. <laughs> no, 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 no. You better hold your tongue or you'll end up... Behind the chocolate bar. That's right. Behind the chocolate bar and I'll throw the tea away. <laughs> what do you mean? You're trying to make a fool out of me? It's too late. It's too late? You're darn right it's too late. I was a big fool long before I met you. That's right. You bet that's right. And don't you ever forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Look what I got here, huh? Today, kiddies, I'm going to tell you the story of Goldilocks. And the Three Stooges. And the Three Stooges. The Three Bears. The Teddy Bears. Certainly Teddy Bears. No. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh, you horrible creature! You're a horrible teacher. I am not. I'm a horrible lecturer. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? <laughs> now, partners, when the president arrived, I took him all around the ranch. And I ended up at the cowboy quarters. Then I said to the president, I said... You're full of bunk. Yes, I said, Mr. President. You're full of bunk. Why, you're the biggest blowhard I ever did see. Why, you're so full of bunk. I never did say he was full of bunk. I meant the bunkhouse I did, I did. Bunkhouse? Oh, I see. Well, now don't you worry. I know every crook in this city. And you're the biggest one. You bet your life, I am. And believe me, if I ever see me on the street corner, I'll see that I get life. I did it. <laughs> what are you doing back here? Wait for a streetcar. Uh, you not thing. <sighs> now, children, after the comb is filled, it looks like this. Then you remove the case from the comb. And comb your hair. And you comb your hair. And then you look neat. <laughs> Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating a Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb, pulled out a plum, and said, Put the rest in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Real still and watch the body. Okay, okay. Squeeze the bulb. Hold still now. What it be? What's the matter? Something hit me in the face. Hit me right in the eyes. <laughs> Just 
wonderful. It always amazes me. These beautiful little creatures spit about from flower to flower, all over the world, gathering this delightful nectar. I'm just crazy about them. There's a bee in your bonnet. There is not! <laughs> Didn't mean I was really crazy. I said there's a bee in your bonnet. You don't have to draw me a picture. I know what it means. I know what it means, too. <gasps> Children, when I was so rudely interrupted. There's a bee in your bonnet. The bee is one of the nature's most startling phenomena. There's a bee in your bonnet. There is not! <laughs> one more word out of you and I'll splatter you over the wall. <laughs> well, partners, after showing him the bunkhouse, I showed him his bed. In the hog house. Yes, we put him in there with the rest of the hogs. <laughs> Say, you wrecked your death work. <laughs> <laughs>